One of the best things that I ever did on my spiritual journey was when I started to document the process. Planning and journaling has always been a way for me to release my anxiety, to process my moods, and to even express my thoughts. Things that I didn't know how to say, but somehow I found the words to write. Even now, I am still using a notebook as I have found a way to use a notebook and a planner in basically every area of my life. And this process went to a whole nother level when I started to use a faith planner. Being able to write down prayers, memorize scriptures, write down the different sermons and Bible studies actually helped me get to another level with my connection to God. And using my faith planner consistently has really helped my level of communication and connection that I never thought was possible. So today I wanted to share with you my new faith planner that I am currently using and also talk about three reasons why you should start using a faith planner as well. Reason number one, using a faith planner has allowed my faith journey to become one of my top priorities. Before I was using a faith planner, I would get to reading my Bible whenever I felt the need, whenever I felt the tug, but it was every now and then. I wasn't concerned Consistent, I wasn't as connected and I wasn't getting to the places where I wanted to get in my faith journey. But once I started using a faith planner and it became a part of my morning routine and I started getting into my word every single day, my journey was transformed. I really started to see progress. I started to feel differently and I really felt that connection that I had been longing for for so long once I became consistent. The second reason you should use a faith planner is it helps you keep track of your intentions and your prayers. Once I became consistent with my morning and my evening routine and I was always in my faith planner, I was constantly writing my intentions and writing my prayers in this planner. Many times we will pray a prayer and then we just start to wait and start hoping that God will just answer our prayers. But a lot of times we have our part along with God having his part. So I would write down the part that I knew I had to complete, the steps that I had to take in order for my prayers to be answered. Whether it was getting deeper into the word so I had a deeper understanding, or if it was a business goal of gaining more subscribers on YouTube, I actually had to pull out my camera and start Start filming. Whatever my prayer, my intention, my goal was, I knew that I had some steps as well. And once I started to put that in my faith planner and I set the intentions of what I wanted to complete, I was obligated to follow those intentions because I had written them down. So keeping track of them within my faith planner and constantly referring to it on a daily basis made me make sure that I was actually doing the things that I said that I was going to do. And it's a great way to look back on all of the progress that you've made. I love looking back at my old faith planners and seeing prayers that I prayed two years ago that are answered today. I remember wanting to be able to leave my nine to five to do something that I absolutely loved. And that was three years ago in an old journal, an old planner that I have. And now today it's my reality. So having a faith planner is a great way to look back and keep track of all of those intentions all of those prayers that you have and make sure that you're actually making some progress toward them. And the third reason you should have a faith planner or a journal is to keep track of all of your Bible study and your notes. So I will listen to a variety of sermons on YouTube and I may take notes on that sermon. I love having a central location for all of those notes so I'm not looking in a bunch of different notebooks trying to figure out where I put them. Whenever I'm looking back on a Bible study or sermon notes, I am able to look back into my planner to highlight different parts, to add additional notes, notes and to have everything that I have written in one central location. I like to keep a faith planner for the entire year then that way I know that this is everything that has happened in 2021. It serves as a memory, it serves as a database. I am able to flip through and see what I was learning at different parts in time and it really does help me to keep track of everything that I'm doing on my journey. So the planner that I am currently using is one that I created for our ministry. It is an undated planner with plenty of space in order to write down a bunch of different notes. I have realized that the more space that I have, the more expressive I can be, the more creative I can be. It allows me to be functional when I want to be functional and just write. 
maybe I just want to write down my prayers or write down a bunch of notes but it also allows me to add stickers and be creative and draw if I want to I'm really proud of it and I'm so excited to bring it to you guys so if you want to support our ministry you can check the link in the description box and pick one up but whether you use the one that I created or you just purchase your own I really want you to think about getting into faith planning I of course will be sharing a bunch of different ideas with you from this faith planner in order for you to help you use your own until next time be enlightened encouraged and empowered bye guys